April means spring is finally here. And as the weather gets warmer, I'm glad to bring this dandelion theme for the month. So grab your notebook and come and plan with me. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here and I'm back with my sister's bullet journal. So this notebook is from Archer and Olive and if you want to grab something from the Archer and Olive website, you can use Temi10 for 10% off. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know I go for simpler arty themes for my sister's bullet journal. And this month I've gone for this bright dandelion theme, but of course keeping it simple and injecting some yellow throughout the month. Let me know your theme for April down in the comments. For this entire theme, I'm focusing on the seed heads, which are apparently called blowballs, <laughs> but I've never called them that in real life. And in fact, I've never even called them anything. <laughs> But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to attempt to use the correct terminology. And honestly, this is probably the quickest setup I've ever done. And I'm sure it'll be easy enough to recreate it if you want to. But for the cover page, I'm starting with a sketch to map out the area where the blow balls will go. And to ink it, I'm using a brush pen primarily and a couple of eyeliners. The brush pen is great because it allows me to cover large areas like the stalk very quickly. And then I'm using the thicker fine liner for the stem of each plumed seed. And for the tiny spikes, I'm using the thinnest fine liner. So I'll link all my supplies down below as usual. Faber Castell has the four pack of pit pens and it's got a brush pen and three different thicknesses for the fine liners. And honestly, that's basically what you need for the setup. Now just drawing the lines for the spikes and you can see that it doesn't have to be perfect. Draw more lines if you want to fill the space and stop when you're happy with it. So you'd have noticed that I left a small section on the top left of the bigger blow ball and it's just so that I can draw some plume seeds that are blown away in the wind. And when I was younger, like after school, I used to love picking these up and blowing them away. So I wanted to include that in some way in this cover page. Now for the quote. I actually think spring might be my favourite season. <laughs> There's something so nice and refreshing about a fresh start and not even in a cheesy way but the fact that trees start regaining their leaves and flowers bloom. In many ways it feels like a fresh start, people start spring cleaning and there's something just so refreshing about it, I just love it. And yes, so for the quote I've gone for life is a balance of holding on and letting go. And I mean it's perfect for this theme. But also I think I need to keep this in my mind often to remind myself because I can be a bit of a holdout. <laughs> but yeah, to complete the cover page, I'm bringing in this yellow colour and I've got this bright yellow washi tape that's just absolutely perfect for this theme. And I love how it looks with the grid washi. Honestly, this grid washi tape is probably one of my favourites. And just finishing off with the April title in my brush lettering on the yellow background and we're good. If you're recreating this theme, you can definitely use whichever accent colour you want. And I would love to see your recreations, so please share them with me on Instagram at temi.journals. Next, for the monthly spread, I always keep the same box layout with 6x6 six six boxes for each day. And this time, I've got the calendar in the bottom right of the page. And with a simple yellow, I'm drawing the header and a simple line to separate each week. I've also added a current favourite section to the top left. And personally, in my bullet journal, I valued the memory keeping aspect of it. And I want my sister to be able to look back at hers with nice sentiments. So I think she will like the section to record her current favourite things. I've got the April title in the same brush letter in as the cover page. The dandelion doodle in the bottom left of the page is done with the exact same technique for the cover page. And I'm just using the same different size pens. I actually came back to add some loose florets, but you see that in the final flip through at the end of the setup. Now for the habit tracker and gratitude log. And you probably can't read those titles very well on camera, but it's a lot easier to see in real life. I've gone for the same simple layout for tracking six habits and I'm using my calendar block stamps as usual to speed the process along. 
Once again, I'm leaning on a notepad just to bring the surface up so that the stamps stamp perfect. And look at that, guys. Finally, I have made it. <laughs> the stamps actually look good. On the right spread, I've got the gratitude log and it's just space for her to record one line a day for something she's grateful for. I do this in my bullet journal and I think it's great to be able to pick out one positive thing from each day. And I'm just finishing off with the dandelion doodle at the top and washi tape at the bottom. And I've just realised I was so happy about stamping the stamp well, but April does not have 31 days, <laughs> so I messed up once again. But anyway, I'll correct that off camera. Now for the goal spread. It's always the same simple layout and as I show you, I just want to say please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and I guess a thumbs down if you're not, <laughs> but please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new bullet journal videos. Yeah, so for the goal spread, I've just got the four boxes for her to record her monthly goals and on the right side, this spread is going to be left blank because it's basically extra spread for her to use it for anything she wants to, but I've just added a simple doodle to bring it back to the theme. Now for the weekly spread, I've gone for the square layout because it's her favourite layout. I've just got the headers in the yellow and the space for the days of the week in black circles. The top left box is for the month and note section and of course a dandelion doodle. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know the square layout is her absolute fave and she loves it for each week. So I've just quickly done the other weeklies and I'll show you the final spread in the setup which is a memory spread. This is my first mum trying a memory spread for her, but I started doing a memory spread in my bullet journal this year and she loves the idea of including something like that in hers too. And that's what I just love about the bullet journal system. It's so customizable and you can add things at any point and take things away if they're not working out. But we made it. Here is the final flip through of this simple dandelion theme for April. And I love the simplicity, I love the yellow and the black, it's just really my vibe. I love the fact that spring is here, <laughs> I love the grid washi tape. I just love this theme a lot if you can't tell. <laughs> but I hope you like the theme also and if you find inspiration from it, feel free to recreate it but please tag me on Instagram at temi.journals in the caption and on the photo so that I can see it and share it. My April plan with me will be up very soon so click the notification bell so you don't miss it and thank you so much for watching this video please like please subscribe and i'll see you on my next one goodbye